you know, you're thinking, wow, green lipstick. Um, yeah, my friend got me green lipstick for my birthday and I thought I should wear it, you know? And okay, so I wanted this video to be a proper list, but basically I've already lied because I'm not organized. I'm actually kind of busy, so I didn't actually make like a proper list on my phone, but hopefully um, this won't be horrible. <laughs> um, yeah, so I will just uh, wing it here. Um, so I am a person with many, many favorite things. You know that song from The Sound of Music, and it's like, these are a few of my favorite things. Well, here are a lot of my favorite things. For example, my favorite color is green, and you guys probably already know that. Um, and my favorite bird is the black-capped chickadee. I also really love crows. Honorable mention for crows. Um, my favorite number is the number seven, and my favorite animal is the sea otter, but I also really love pigs. Honorable mention for pigs. Oh, I love them so much. I would really love to have a pig in the future, if I could. Uh, what else? Um, what else is my one of my favorite things? My favorite uh, season is summer. My favorite um, 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 song is, well, actually, I have a lot of favorite songs. I really like Before the Morning by Josh Wilson. I really also like, I mean, I don't really like that song, like, to listen to a lot, but, like, I really love the message, basically. And then I also really like A Thousand Miles by Vanessa Carlton, and I also really like Boulevard of Broken Dreams by <laughs> Green Day. And um, my cell phone ringtone is... It's Good by Caitlin Tarver, which is like another one of my favorite songs. Um, yes. And then what else? Um, what else is one of my favorite things? Oh yeah, favorite movie. My favorite movie of all time is The Parent Trap, 1998, with Lindsay Lohan starring in it. Um, I also really like The Sound of Music. Like The Sound of Music is my second favorite movie. And my third favorite movie might be a, a movie called Dancer in the Dark. It stars uh, Bjork. Yeah, that's also up there in my top three. So those are my favorite movies. Um, what else? Uh, what other favorite things do I have? Oh, I really love um, leaves and trees. Like anything that has a leaf or a tree on it, I just love that. And I love vegan things, obviously. And my favorite shape is the star. So I love like stars on anything. I just love stars. And if it's a green star, oh my god, even better because it's combining my favorite color and my favorite shape, you know. Oof, love. And uh, what else? What other favorite things do I have? Basically, if you ask me what's my favorite blank, I probably already know the answer because I've decided, I've like pre decided these things, you know. Um, my favorite fruit is the apple, and my favorite, um, hmm, what else? My favorite food is popcorn. Oh my god, popcorn, definitely. It's been my favorite food for, like, ever. Love popcorn so much. Um, what else? Favorite things. Do I have a favorite insect? Huh. No, I do not. I don't have a favorite insect. But I have um, a few favorite flowers. So my favorite flower is the pansy or the buttercup. I, I love both of them equally. They're both tied for my favorite flower. Um, what else? Hmm. So I wanted to also do a list of flaws because I don't, I mean, it doesn't sit well with me when people say that, oh, I'm like always happy every single day or like I have such an easy life. Like, that's not true, um, but I do consider myself an optimist and I do have faith and I'm Christian, so maybe my faith is um, linked to God and just linked to this idea that the world is 
like everything's happening for a reason and we have a bigger scheme that we we little humans don't know about and i i just have faith in love and in humanity and in salvation and and you know those things so um yeah but like people think that i'm like smiling every day or that i'm always happy or that i'm always cheerful or that's not true like i do have days where i'm not like that or just hours like sometimes it'll be like a chunk of time where i'm just really down and really doubtful and really negative um like maybe a few hours or like you know um but uh I want to say some of my flaws, like some of my physical flaws, because I don't know. I never want to like portray myself as this person who's perfect or like flawless, you know, because I'm definitely not. Um, there's lots of things that are flaws, or at least would be considered a flaw um, in societal standards or like societal beauty standards and stuff like that like um i have this mark here right so that's like not um normal i guess or kind of like a flaw and um i used to have severe acne i had to take two courses of accutane to um make the acne subside i had really horrible horrifying cystic acne and I have like hundreds literally hundreds of scars on my face from that and it's actually a really traumatic thing to go through having acne because it's it's a skin disease but people associate so many negative qualities to it as if like people who have acne are lazy or people who have acne aren't hygienic or something like that and that's just not true it's those are all myths it's usually, acne is usually genetic or hormonal, which is, like, not controllable by any individual. So, um, I had to take Accutane, and, um, well, I didn't have to, but I, I did do that. And, um, yeah, I'm not wearing any foundation today, so maybe if I can come closer, I can try to show you. Um, let's see. I see. Um, I'm not wearing any foundation, so my skin tone and everything is like, yeah. So you can kind of see stuff like that. And, um, oh my goodness, I don't know how to, uh, okay, <laughs> wow, this is really, really close. Um, but yeah. Um, should I just do the rest of the video in close up? No, 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 no. That would be a little strange. Um, well, actually, I don't know. Because I have my camera on manual focus, and I it's a little bit difficult to try to, like, go all the way back to where I was now, because, like, I am i don't have perfect eyesight either. Hey, another flaw. Not good eyesight. I have myopia. Um, what other flaws are there about my appearance? Um my like body type like i'm really really flat everywhere like i have a flat butt flat chest like probably like size cup size like aa or something so yeah and then also my head i feel like my head's so um big compared to my shoulders and just like my general uh body width i guess um, okay, well, this is a little bit, getting a little bit rambly. Um, maybe I should just end this here, unless you guys, I don't know, what other flaws do I have? Oh yes, I was also going to say personality flaws. So I do have a lot of personality flaws too. Let me just break it down for y'all. I am a very impatient person, and I'm really picky about who I hang out with, or who I even, um, talk to, and it's actually very... A negative trait of mine actually because it's pretty judgmental first of all and it's also exclusionary so it um, I don't know it 
it's like this thing that I struggle with. Like sometimes I think like these people are so different from me and so hard for me to understand that I don't even want to talk to them. And that is just a very apathetic um, approach to these people who are just, I'm sure, very nice people. And I'm sure that I could learn something from them if I did um, communicate with them more and hang out with them more. And um, I don't think it's a morally right thing to do to only surround yourself with people who can benefit you. I think that it's a very selfish thing. And I would prefer, or at least I try, to be more selfless and to um, widen my horizons and hang out with a variety of people and not be like, oh, you're not cool enough to hang out with me. Uh, I'm not going to hang out with you. But I don't know. I mean, it's like this thing that I struggle with. It's like, Maybe it's like a form of vanity or a form of, I don't know. This is a little bit hard to explain, but do you know what I mean? Like, hmm, like just, like I wish I was more inclusive, basically. I wish I was, um, I'm, you know, that's like a negative personality trait, basically, that I try to overcome and try to be more uh, accepting of people who are not similar to me. Um, or, yeah, I don't know. Because, like, I believe, I do believe that everyone is put into your life for a reason and that they're there for a reason and you're in their life for a reason. It's because you're in their life to impact their world and they're in your life to impact your world, you know? Like, every person you meet, it's pretty um, serendipitous because, like, if you hadn't gone, you know, to the mall on that day, you might not have met that specific person. It's all very um, calculated. I don't think it, I don't believe in coincidences. And I think that it's important to love everyone. So that's my um, idea over here. Uh, yeah. What else? Um, yeah, I guess that's like the main personality flaw that I wanted to share about. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just end this video here. Thanks for watching, and I hope that you're not like my mom. My mom hates this lipstick, but like my friend got it for me, and I enjoy it, so um, I hope uh, you don't mind that it's a little bit uh, out there. Okay, signing off. Si say, say, <laughs> what am I saying? Sayonara, that's what I meant to say. Sayonara. Okay, adios.